guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here if you are new here please make sure you go ahead slap that like button and subscribe that way you don't miss a future video also make sure you guys hit that notification bell as you know i don't have a post schedule i only post when i feel cute so if you want to be here when i post a video you gotta hit that notification bell today i am celebrating with you guys 50 sales on Etsy and I'm so excited and so proud I don't have a full class tutorial on how I got there but I do just want to speak freely on the process which was lots of hard work and lots of creative energy put into my shop I think it really helped that I did find a very unique um, individualized niche to sell digital items and print on demand items from also as a reminder um, I don't have the link for the shop of the analytics that I'm sharing here on the channel but it is a shop that is a mixture of print on demand and digital products which I think definitely helps my situation just because it did help the shop look a, a little bit more girthier a little bit more fuller because I couldn't really fill it as fast as I wanted to with the digital products because of how long it took to make them. So I feel like the print on demand items kind of made nice little cushions in between of the digital products. But I'm so excited. I hit the 50 sales and I'm so proud of myself. And also along with that, I also hit the revenue for Star Seller. And I already have um, like five out of five for all the other compartments needed for Star Seller. So as soon as 24 hours goes by and the Star Seller updates, it'll alert the system that I reached the $300 in revenue. So it will hopefully give me my Star Seller badge because I have kept up with my reviews. I have answered um, everything that I needed for sales. Shipping has been done perfectly with my print-on-demand companies. I'm making sure that as soon as someone orders something, I'm like in contact with the print-on-demand companies, making sure the order is out. I'm communicating through and through with my customers, and that is something I cannot shine a light harder on for you guys. I'm actually going to create some type of like customer service based course for you guys for free on here on the channel um, because I really want to shine a light on how important that is as part of these 50 sales. Um, again, just something that can't be taught, something that I can't even put like on my dry erase board because it's literally just the verbalization of get to know your customers, speak to them. Like the people who are going to create that first 50 sales for you, if you haven't created, if you haven't gotten it yet, are those people who are messaging you. Um, I found it very current and very, um, like I found a lot of customers asking me about my items, about what they entail or what they would do. And that was kind of my time to like resell the listing as well as tweak it. Like there were a lot of times someone would ask me a question about the item and then I would explain to them in a paragraph what the item meant and then they would purchase it. So I would go ahead and copy and paste what I explained to them what the item meant and put that in my listing description because what that told me was that it wasn't descriptive enough like everyone wasn't realizing what the item was or what it could do so when someone asked me that I took that to make that my time to kind of like revise my old listing so listen to your customers listen to what they say and also don't be afraid to be like very forward for your business like and to treat it like such like something that I thought really helped me get to that first 50 sales like I said in these past two months remember I've only been on here for two months you can check out my analytic videos of month one and halfway through month two on my channel already but one thing that really helped was just that customer service that's already instilled in me from previous jobs that I had I naturally just wanted to follow up with people and see how they liked the product and ask them if they did like the product could they please leave a review and I just had a really close relationship with everyone who came through the store um, and I think that that really will help you guys get that first 50 sales because it should feel more intimate um, remember like the algorithm and the store SEO and everything it's still picking up it's still pushing you out you're still relatively new to the Etsy world so you have to kind of push for those first 50 sales um, another thing that really did help which is like a really juicy tip was to price super low I had learned from other mentors that 
it would be beneficial to have a loss leader, which meaning like have regular high priced items and then have one like pro low price item at 99 cents or $1.99 and let that item get purchased a lot. That way you get a bunch of sales under your belt and your shop looks more, um, you know, juicy and full and looks like it's been around for a while, which getting star seller badge and having all those sales under my belt was a huge goal of mine. And I wanted to rack up a loss leader like for example a 99 cent item and have people get that a lot and I started off doing that but then I realized and this may or may not happen to you even my 99 cent digital item I put so much work into and I loved it so much and I appreciate a cute loss leader to go ahead and raise those sales under my belt for the shop to make it look like the way I want it to look but I also wanted this to be a beneficial lucrative business and I felt I got a little impatient in that part because I sold a couple of those loss leader listings and then I went ahead and switched the price back to high but what I realized is it did continue to still sell so cute little tip go ahead and start with those loss leaders have a dollar ninety nine or a ninety nine cent listing to get the attention of people to get the attention of your store but then realize that once it's purchased Etsy is going to naturally promote that listing out to other people because it's been purchased and it's telling the algor algorithm that this is a good listing it's been purchased let's push it out to more people and get it purchased again so after that first ninety ninety nine cent or dollar ninety nine purchased you should go ahead and increase it to double or to 9.99 or 14.99 or whatever you think the value matches that item and get your revenue um i just posted a video literally before this one about the truth about the etsy payout and i think that there's way too many videos online talking about how ten thousand dollars a month on etsy twenty thousand dollars a month on etsy blah 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 print on demand that's all cute and dandy, but you got to start somewhere and you start here. And the one thing that I realized and I brought to light in this last um, financial video that I just did is the listing and the, I actually have it still right here, the transaction fees, the processing fees and the listing fees, they subtract a lot out of your coin. So if you're running around here with a bunch of lost leaders in your first couple of months on Etsy, you are not going to make profit margin, meaning you are going to, they're going to purchase your item and you're going to go ahead and not make as much as you could because they're going to take the listing fee. They're going to take the processing fee. And if you're already priced low, there's not much money left over for you. So with that being said, realize that they're going to take their chunk. So go ahead and raise the financial price above that chunk. That way you can start to get a little bit of coin. And I did that in month two. I made sure month one was my month to have a bunch of loss leaders. And then in month two, I got rid of the loss leaders and I went higher. And now going into month three, I'm going to be stopping the ads. Right now I'm on for a dollar a day, which is another something that sucks out. That's 30 bucks a month so i'm gonna stop that save those marketing fees and then no matter what i can't help the listing transaction or processing fees so they're gonna get their chunk no matter what but next month i'm gonna chill with the marketing and see if i can just do more self-promotion and social media promotion for the shop and yeah and see what happens from there but it's been quite a journey i'm so so proud of myself like i've been a content creator for almost three years now and i say this a lot that in the first year or first couple of months of being monetized on YouTube, which is my main platform, it was slow. And the first $100 took months. So the minute I realized I made over $100 in a month in this platform, that's when I really started to tackle and study the SEO, study the algorithm, study the website of Etsy. Um, so I definitely recommend doing the same. If you watch this video from beginning to end and you're looking all over the internet for all types of information and tips and tricks on how to grow your store or start your store, you're doing the right thing. You're heading in the right direction. Stay positive. Stay inspired. You guys always say on my last couple of videos that my videos have inspired you and made you feel like you can do it. And I love that. That is the exact point of this. I'm just a normal person looking for different ways to monetize and stay alive as a content creator in 2023. So if you're looking to do the same thing and you're on this journey with me, comment down below. Let me know any tips or tricks you learned. We can swip swap. No gatekeeping. Let's all help each other grow together and have amazing Etsy stores in 2023 because we deserve it. Let's get our coin. I love you guys. Don't forget to slap that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.